Edge versus Randy Orton. Both guys look great physically. Uh, both guys uh, had, had really crisp work. Uh, both guys uh, really busted their asses and, and took punishment and some serious chances. Unfortunately, this match went a little too long. But when I mean a little too long, I mean about 20 minutes too long. The exact time in this match, uh, if I have this correctly, according to the Twitter machine, 36 minutes and 35 seconds. This went way too long in front of no crowd. This was a last man standing match. The It started out with Randy Orton hitting an RKO out of nowhere on edge. Another RKO out of nowhere. He had snuck up behind him, posing as a cameraman. And then these guys just brawled and brawled and brawled and grunted. And it was like, oh, uh, 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 uh. I mean, you could have taken like a super cut of all these grunts and sold them to an adult film website. There were so many grunts. So they, they, they kept brawling and brawling all through the performance center. I feel like this was kind of the wrong match. They should have fought on the street or something. I don't know. Done like a real legit street fight, something. But they, they, they were brawling all over the place. They brought through the training camp area, the gym area. There was one spot that made me cringe. Now, my buddy Scott Anderson thinks most of Twitter and, and myself are overthinking this. But for those that don't know, Vice TV has a series called Dark Side of the Ring, which is a, a great docu-series. I, I recommend you all checking it out, especially if you like some of the DDB documentaries on the network. And uh, they covered Benoit in depth, the, the Chris Benoit tragedy. And... If you don't know, Chris Benoit passed away by hanging himself with uh, weight equipment. And that documentary just aired less than two weeks ago. So what happens here? Edge and Orton are brawling. And then Orton chokes Edge and looks like he's almost going to hang him from the weight machine. I shrieked as soon as I saw that. Maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe all the other people that had the same exact thought that I did at the same exact th time are overthinking, but I, w I was not feeling that. I, I was totally, totally not feeling that. Uh, I, I could have done without that spot. Um, so there was this, also a spot where Orton was uh, got punched. He's laying on an office chair. Edge swung off the weight machine onto Orton. I, I guess he hit him with his steel crotch. Maybe Edge was wearing a cup, so he took him out. I don't know, maybe he was going for a Bronco Buster as an X-Pac tribute since X-Pac didn't get his Hall of Fame speech this year. I don't know. It was kind of wacky. They, they brawled in, in a random conference room. It was, it was wacky. There was one spot, too, where they, where they fought backstage like near the production trucks and everything else. Edge went up, went up top near a, with, with the ladder, hopped off, elbow dropped Randy Orton through a table. These guys worked their asses off. I don't want to downplay the efforts from both men. They were gassed. They were exhausted. They were sweating like crazy. They were taking real bumps, but this just went on and on. And it was all, it almost became like a parody of a last man standing match. And I'll say this, the beginning was good. The middle was way too long and, and jumbled. It, honestly, it seemed like a more, it got to the point where it seemed like a more athletic version of Jim Halpert versus Dwight Schrute in the office where they're just grunting and brawling. Imagine if Dwight Schrute and Jim Halper, uh, the American version of The Office, had a brawl throughout The Office and, and you know, in the warehouse and everything else. That's kind of like what this is, only more aggressive and more athletic with JDB programming and production. Finally, we, we get some re the really good stuff where they're on top of a, a freaking trailer of a truck. Edge hits a spear. Orin also hit an RKO. They both get up. And then uh, eventually, Edge uh, locks in the, the standing uh, arm choke, similar to what Jake Hager does in, in AEW. And he chokes out Orton. He sets up one steel chair underneath Orton's head, takes the other steel chair, and of course, it's, it's like the concerto uh, that Orton used on him and what Edge used to use on all his opponents back in the day before concussion protocol. So Edge hit the, hit the concerto, knocked out Orton, got the win. I hate to say it, but you should probably only watch this match if you just want to catch the highlights.